Hello world! Welcome back to another Pico Gym workout exercise video. In this video, we'll be walking through the Forensics Challenge Secret of the Polyglot. Let's get into it. The Network Operations Center, NOC, of your local institution picked up a suspicious file. They're getting conflicting information on what type of file it is. They've brought you in as an external expert to examine the file. Can you extract all the information from this strange file? Download the suspicious file here. So if you download the file, you'll get a flag two of two final.pdf. And if we open that and scroll down, we'll see that we have the second part of our flag. So we'll copy that and post it in a notepad document for future reference and usage. And now we got to figure out what's going on with this file. So I'm going to actually show you a couple ways of doing this. I'm going to show you the first way in Windows and then the second way in Linux on how you can solve this potentially. Of course, there's always more ways to solve these challenges. These are just the two I find most easy. So we're going to start on Windows, like I said, and we're going to drag this into our HXD hex editor. And right off the bat, we're going to notice that we're not just dealing with a PDF file, but also a PNG file. We can actually look for the trailer of our PNG file to see where the PDF file starts by doing control F in here and then I end and then OK. And you can see right after this I end trailer down here of the PNG file, our PDF file starts. Now you can of course copy and paste this into a new file if you do so choose. And in fact, I think we'll go ahead and do that. So we're going to go ahead and take the PNG file here, copy that. And we don't care about this. And maybe I should copy the hex values instead. Here we go. So we'll copy that and we'll do a new file. Paste those hex values in. Okay, and then we'll do a control S on that. And we will save it to our secret of the polyglot folder and we'll just call it flag.png now if we open flag.png we'll find the first half of our flag now the other way to do this which is even easier is just simply to change the file extension here to dot png like so since both the png and the pdf exist exclusively from each other within the same file and we can double click that and the same result will happen. We'll get our flag. Now I'm going to go ahead and type in the rest of that flag here so that we have it for future use. Oh, Pico, CTF, F1, U3, N7. Now before we go and just submit the flag, I'm going to show you how you can do this in Linux as well. So we're going to come to my Kali purple box here. And as you can see in my Kali box here, we have the PDF downloaded. Now we will simply run a file star on flag two of two final PDF. And we'll notice that it actually identifies it as a PNG image because the PNG came before the PDF in the hex source code. That being the case, all we have to do is simply move or make a copy of this file as a PNG file. In this case, we'll just do a copy here and we'll call it flag.png. And then we'll run our graphical viewer on flag.png. And there's our first half of the flag again. So now that I've shown you both methods and a couple sub methods as well to kind of solve this challenge, let's go ahead and submit the flag. And our flag altogether ends up being fluent in PNG and PDF. So we'll copy that, paste it in, and submit. All right, if you enjoyed the video, drop a like and subscribe to the channel to show your support. Turn on post notifications to get regular injections of cyber content directly into your feed. Check out our Patreon, join our Discord, and follow us on Twitter. Links in the description box down below. And leave any feedback or questions in the comments section down below. This is Almond Milk. Thanks for watching. Goodbye, world.